when I met an enlightened teacher and because I was looking the world through an enlightened teacher who could actually transmit light and when I finally found one who did, agreed to teach me deep deep meditation which and I was with her for 12 years and I was very blessed that one day after many, many years and hours and hours of meditation, I went off the grid for all those years, Rob. I didn't, I wasn't wow. in the spotlight at all, just focusing on my awakening. And I did eventually awaken. So now what gives me the most joy is that, that, that light now I can transmit to my students and to other people and it really explain to them who they are. You know, why are they here? Who am I? And I, teach it in such a way i use the analogy like kiss keep it simple and spiritual because there are so many teachers out there that are saying you've got to do it my way or you'll never become free or you you know put me up on a pedestal and i want everyone to know if a little aussie chick who left school when she was 15 could do all the things that i have done and been able to succeed using because who knows what would have happened without that car accident. I might have, we might have failed. The band might have never got gone to Europe or, you know, I might have given, an, given it all up and, who knows, been waitressing, which is a good thing. I used to do that for extra money. Waitressing is good, it's very nice. But I'm just saying who knows what would have happened. So no matter what is going on in your life, the worst thing that you could imagine, even if you're experiencing that now, this too shall pass even if you don't believe it, go to someone who can give you some spirituality, teach you how to meditate. If it's not me, go to someone who really knows what they're doing 